I've got the Washington Post, the New York Times, and every other establishment, fake news, Chicom servant, Hollywood servant group, texting me saying, oh, give us a quote. Call and talk to us. And it's some legal thing they do because they never even put a quote in there. It's just they can say, oh, we reached out for comment in some type of statutory deal. They're panicking. No one's ever going to listen or read you again. No one likes your condescension. No one can stand your fraud. Everybody knows that you're just here to wreck the First Amendment, that universities are designed to kill free speech. You, you people are interlopers. You're hijackers of the country. You would run this place into the ground so fast, it'd make Venezuela look like a heavenly place to be. So there's no giving these people quotes. I hardly ever give them quotes anyways. And every time I do, it just turns into more of what I've seen. Them pretending that they're interviewing you to pretend they're journalists to give the rest of their fraudulent story some type of credence. That's why they want you to sit there for a photograph. And they want you to, you know, play along with, I guess, loading the bullets in their electronic firing squad or maybe dusting off the platform from which you're going to be strung up. Uh, I don't wish to be part of your masquerade, okay? I'm for real. Your attempt to celebrate my censorship shows how disconnected you are. I'm not glad this is happening because I want to get the word out and help people, especially on GMOs and the dangers of vaccines. God, there's a bunch of articles out of Indonesia, you name it, where all these kids are dying from the vaccines. Government leaders' kids are getting sick from them. I want to show people Harvard studies on fluoride-lowering IQ. That's really what's sad about the billions and billions of views on our YouTube channel, Blown Away, interviews with my grandmother, who's dead now. A lot of stuff that, without being able to search engine it or dig through my archives here, I'll never see again. Or, hey, I want to see my dead... French Bulldog captain playing in the yard with a ball. Now long gone. That's only on my YouTube. I shot live streams of it. So that stuff's all completely blown away. They just burned a giant library of 36,000 videos. They just blew them into the outer space. YouTube. You come here, you're popular, and they buy up everything that's about citizen journalism or citizen action or human action. They buy it all up and they turn it into corporate tube. Garbage tube. So, back when I only had one radio station, I wasn't happy when I got fired for not being censored because I knew I'd move forward. Because going along with them is worse than dying. And then, of course, years later, hundreds and hundreds of radio stations, TV stations, changing the world and, and, and being strangled and curtailed at this level, they'd already shadow banned us 90%, but they knew the thinkers were still going and watching, and they knew people were still going around it. They were using our systems as a feeder for others. And so the next move will be restricting and blocking people that carry my content or talk to me. So now I've turned down thousands of interviews being busy. Now I will do the interviews, and now they will censor the interviews. Uh, and now that will further illustrate what they're doing. But next segment, we're going to be breaking it down for everyone. It's not hyperbole to say that China is the main controller now. In fact, can I have my stack from my stack today about China? Thank you. You guys can do that. Great job. China is openly running our debt. Hollywood, not letting Michael Savage's book that got published, but not allowing it on store shelves. That was two years ago. And I've just learned that it's China that's in control of this country more than anybody else. And how dare Trump, when they've got a $900 billion total trade deficit on us, sit there and try to negotiate a better deal. What a horrible person. And I love when they deleted our YouTube channel, one of them, uh, with the billions of views. Guys, go to the gravestone of the Alex Jones channel, please. Thank you. It says removed, terminated, terminated for violating community guidelines. But then they added a proviso, knowing they're wide open for lawsuits there, and said, oh, well, we told him to stop streaming, and he kept doing it. Yeah, on that page, we quit. It was blocked. But my other reporters' pages, other people, you never told us we couldn't do that. It was on that profile. But it doesn't matter. They just added that in there. But here's the fun part. Just try to go to Alex Jones' channel. Just just type it, you know, type that into a search engine, Alex Jones' channel. Oh, my gosh, they changed it. 
<laughs> they did say recommended for you BuzzFeed. It was a big joke. So I guess they thought that was a little too much. That's what they type the search engine on YouTube. Go to YouTube itself and type in Alex Jones channel. This page isn't available. Sorry. Here, go back to it. Sorry about that. Try searching for something else. Hit it again. There's the CNN report I wanted. Did they ever bring that in? Remember, I, for the show, I wanted it. So, so we do have that clip. Great. I'm not mad. Just next, when I want one, just I'm in a new studio. Just give me a sheet and I know we got it. Okay? Because I'll, I'll, I'll forget. Because we're gonna play it in a moment. We're we'll play it right now. So, so CNN celebrates in all of this. First, they lie about me. They demonize me. They build a straw man. They build a big bag wolf. Then they start calling for me to be censored and taken off the air, which is tortious interference. And then they have a few strikes against me for stuff I didn't do. To use the strikes to not show you what I did, but say child endangerment or uh, was mean to Newtown kids or said nobody died at Parkland shooting, which wasn't true. And then when they finally, I keep saying, show me what I said, show me what I did, because it's still protected under the First Amendment, but you're not showing it. Then they show a highly, highly edited video today celebrating all this with Mr. Schmirkanish. So let's go ahead and roll that now. Tragic deaths, something you can be sued for, or is it covered by freedom of speech? That's an issue being litigated in a case in which the parents of a child killed in the 2012 massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School are suing InfoWars host Alex Jones for defamation for his repeated claims that the massacre is a hoax. Here's a sampler of Jones's assertions that the family finds actionable. The official story of Sandy Hook has more holes in it than Swiss cheese. My gut tells me the White House, c people controlling the governments were involved in this. So don't ever think the globalists that have hijacked this country wouldn't stage something like this. They kill little kids all day, every day. And it's not our government, it's the globalist. I mean, they're doing it, they're doing it, they're staging it. In court, Jones's lawyer admitted, quote, maybe it's fringe speech, maybe it's dangerous speech. That's not defamation. That's rhetorical hyperbole at its core. He's trying to get the case dismissed under the Texas Citizens Participation Act, which protects citizens' rights to free speech against plaintiffs who aim to silence them through costly litigation. Does he have a case? Joining me now is a reporter who's been covering the trial, Jonathan Tylove the chief political reporter for the Austin American Statesman. Jonathan, I remember speaking to you two years ago when Alex Jones was in the midst of a child custody battle and his own lawyer right. at that time said, hey, this is all shtick. Uh, don't take it uh, so pause seriously. Again. That was so again, this is, this is how defamation works. My wife, ex-wife, wanted to introduce a thing with me in clown makeup, talking about how great fluoride is to eat your brain, kids, from like five years before that. And... My lawyer said, that's him playing a Jack Nicholson character. He doesn't really believe he's the Joker. They then use that. So it's every point, I'm not real, I'm a fraud, take me off. And, and they know all this. But all these reporters, they want to get on CNN. Even though it has no viewers, that's like arriving in heaven for them. <laughs> CNN has the lowest ratings in its history. The lowest ratings on cable. It is a total joke. Patrick in the great nation of Australia. You're on the air worldwide. Thanks for holding. Hey, uh, mate, I've been following you since I was 14, and I'm 32 now. I remember back when InfoWars and Prison Planet, it was just blue text on a white screen, and I had to load down the page on my dial-up internet, and I thought it was pretty cool, and read all the books, and seen all the DVDs, and followed all your guests, and I've been using your product since the first iteration of Survival Shield, and since then, I'm on the X2, the Super Male Vitality, the Caveman, the Real Red Pill, Micro Z, body it's all amazing thank you brother yeah and i wanted to say that by following you so much it's like you're just detoxing the mind you're detoxing the body you're detoxing the spirit and it just the more you know god the more you fear god but the more you chase god and i wanted to say that it's an honor to stand side by side with you the crew and the listeners out there 1776 worldwide the president of the united states is racist He's a punk, he's a dog, he's a pig. He can suck my f He's a con, a bullshit artist, a mutt. Kiss my mother ass, you bitch punk sucker. The President of the United States 
is a weak man. He's not only unfit to be president. In my book, his lack of empathy, his lack of leadership, his lack of courage, he's unfit to be human. He is clearly trying to ignite a civil war in this country. This is CNN.